this is our Canvas homepage. The purpose of this video tutorial is for us to learn how to navigate around it. We will also look at the syllabus at length here in this tutorial. A couple of things before we get started. At the bottom of the page, you see that purple toolbar. You won't see that from your view. This is, this is what's called the student view. From my point of view, I have my view, the instructor view, and the student view. So I'm showing you the student view so you see what, what you'll see. Um, I will click back to the instructor view to make a point later. Uh, but again, this is what you'll see. Um, okay, the other thing is I'm not going to go over this word for word top to bottom, whether it's the, the page here or the syllabus, but I do expect that you will do that later. It's very important that you understand and learn all the requirements for this course to, to ensure that you get the best grade possible. Okay, so we are History 110, the second half of American History. We are CRN or course record number 91184. We are summer session 2022. My name is Frank Turner. I'm your instructor. Uh, this is a link to the syllabus right here. That's one way to get to it or go to this syllabus link here. Either one will take you to that syllabus and I will open that here later and go over that you know, in detail. We are a fully online course, no classroom. This is also a fast track class. A 16 week course condensed into eight weeks. The pace in this class is brisk or quick. So you got to hit the ground running and, and be prepared for the challenge because it goes by fast and, these, it's, and the, the assignments come fast and furious. Uh, after one week of a fast track class, it's the same as two weeks of a 16 week course. Two weeks of a fast track class, same as a month. So as you can see, it's very easy to get behind. So, so be, be aware and be prepared to, to keep up with this course. I will provide instructions to you each step of the way to help you succeed. Here's my Miramar email if you have any questions or concerns at any time before the class starts or during the class. Uh, our class is in session June 6th to July 30th. Okay, we'll go over the syllabus, the class requirements, first day of class by video. We're doing that right now. Uh, these will be pr provided to you for instruction each week. So just jumping ahead a little bit, looking at the rest of these couple paragraphs that are left here. You see modules, course summary, calendar, to-do lists are all underlined in red. Those are the four important places for you to go to find what's going on. So you have lots of, you know, places to, to, to get due dates and so on. So we're going to go over all four of those here uh, uh, right now. So instructions provide to you each week. Simply go to the modules section. I'm just going to finish reading this first and then we'll go over each one. Modules is right here on the left side of this page, the menu. Choose the week we're in, as, as you'll see, week one, week two, etc. Each week we'll have uh, links to the relevant lectures, instructions, and films. Uh, we'll also look at the course summary. That's found by opening the syllabus link, scrolling down below the syllabus, and there it is. Uh, course summary we'll look at here in a minute. Also the calendar link on the, on the left menu, the far left menu here. And the to-do list, which is at the right side of the top of this page. So here's your to-do list, and here you see all the assignments are lining up for you. Okay. Um, okay. So let's go to modules, and what you're going to see here is a module from a different class. This is not your class, but it's the same class. So it's the same information, just different dates. I haven't I haven't finished editing or finished recording the lectures for for week one. Uh, I do these each week, so. This is just for an example, just for illustration, but what you'll see is very similar to what this is. Okay, so simply open modules. Modules is the is the is the brain center for the class. When you open yours, you won't see all the weeks listed one through eight. You'll they'll, they'll come week one, week two, and the, and by the end of the class, you'll have all eight. Uh, let's open week one and take a look at it. a typical module. This is week one for this class. Uh, you'll always have the date here. You see this is from last summer. Uh, welcome to week one, and this is a welcome video. So this is an actual video of me speaking to you. Look at that handsome guy. Um, very important that you listen to these. There's there's two places for me to communicate with you. One is announcements, and I and I will be, you know, uh, posting announcements uh, on a regular basis. I, I'm not going to overdo it. You're not going to get you know ten a day. Not not even. Just, just important things that are important for you to know. I will post announcements, but also in the welcome to each week video, I kind of go over what's happening, where we're going, perhaps some, uh, you know, response to uh, an assignment or a midterm or whatever it might be. So it's good information. These welcome videos, 
uh, you'll it's it's the same thing as in a typical class when a class starts I usually you know take care of, of business first and that's what what I'm doing here okay uh, each week will tell you what we're working on this week so this week week one is introductions class management we're doing that right now overview of history 101 or 109 depending on on what campus you're on and chapter 15 so again in a fast track class we have four classes not two in a 16 week class week one is intro and class management week two is overview in chapter 15 but in a fast track class we're doing two weeks of work in one so instead of two classes we have four because of our compacted eight week schedule but it's very simple each week open your module start with uh, listen to the welcome video see what's what's in store for the week and then go to class one listen to all the tutorials lectures films or anything else that may be part of that week they are in they are numbered they are in numerical order so listen to them in order go to class one class two class three class four that's simple okay class one for our class is you know pretty straightforward just two two uh, lecture videos to look at one is kind of an introductory lecture if you get a feel for who I am as an instructor uh, why history is important please watch that you'll also get a flavor of the theme of the class and how I look at history uh, number two is how I run a class what, what's a typical class like or what, what can you expect from a class of mine class two we get more into the nuts and bolts of the class itself so first you listen to syllabus canvas management I'm recording that right now uh, but most importantly, assignment instructions. Oops, sorry. Uh, this is very important, and this is where some some students uh, don't 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 do this, and they and they end up in not knowing what's going on. You have a midterm, and you you you, you get a poor grade, and it, it turns out that you weren't following the instructions. So I I post the instructions here. These will also be located in modules as their own their own link. Uh, I post these so you have there's no questions about what's going on with these assignments each one of these is unique in itself uh, not entirely but you may find that some of these are different than what you've done before so don't don't take it lightly and think that they're all the same each one has its unique requirements we have four different assignments in this class chapter quiz film reflections discussion boards supplemental lectures okay in assignment instructions in our week one module each one will have posted written instructions so you can open those and then a video tutorial where I'm explaining to you the instructions so what this video is is me going over the written instructions so a, a, a good way to do this is to is to open the, the written instructions and read it and then have the video tutorial playing behind it and then that that'll kind of give you a uh, like like an annotated look at the written instructions so each each of these assignments chapter quiz film reflection discussion board supplemental lectures each one has it has written instructions and a video tutorial it's part of your assignment in week one so make sure that you do this don't skip over this because it'll come back to 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 get you down the down the line here so that's that's the first two classes and like I said that would be the first week of a typical class and uh, that's kind of the intro to the week but now you go to class three and we start coursework okay uh, and I'm going to get to that in a minute but before I finish uh, understand that that the assignments come fast and furious chapter quizzes are due every week your first one is due Sunday June 13th the Sunday of our first week chapter quizzes are always due on Sundays uh, now I, I'm not trying to give you work on the weekends I used to have these due on Fridays but people complained about you know that was to give you, you your weekend people complained about it's Friday night okay so I'll, I'll open it to Sunday and then you can decide you can do these by Wednesday if you'd like if you want to wait till the end you know like do it on the last day then it's going to be on a Sunday uh, so be aware that every Sunday there's chapter quizzes due in a fast track class it could be two or three one two or three quizzes uh, so that's that means you're reading you're reading one two or three chapters you're doing one two or three quizzes the most challenging week in this class uh, is is uh, where we have three chapters and the California State Requirement Quiz, and that's not an exceptionally difficult quiz, but it is an assignment required by the State of California, and you'll learn about that when we get there, and you'll have instructions that will explain all of that. Uh, so understand, chapter quizzes due each Sunday. Film reflection or discussion board. Every time that they're posted, I'll do a brief presentation tutorial about that, 
and I'll post that same as what I'm doing right now but it'll be about each of each of those assignments why did I choose that film why did I choose that supplemental uh, that uh, primary source uh, those tutorials will, will be found in assignments under the appropriate assignment you'll see the instructions the video and anything else that's necessary please be aware when these assignments post and when they're due your first film reflection assignment is due Monday June 21st 2021 by midnight so be aware of the assignments and when they're due uh, these assignments whether they're chapter quizzes discussion boards or film reflections will not be mentioned in the weekly weekly modules after week one uh, you'll have a reminder I'll, I'll send you a reminder the first time but after that it's up to you to, to to know what's going on so again Sundays and Mondays are your day that things are due chapter quizzes on Sundays film reflections or discussion boards on Mondays uh, it's your responsibility to be aware of the due dates of these assignments how do you do that there's four places to do that uh, one is the assignment link which is right here and we'll, we'll look at that here in a minute open that and you'll see all the assignments and all their due dates the to-do list uh, is on your home page and I I'll, I'm going to show that to you in a, here in a minute course summary same thing calendar same thing we're going to go over all those here in a minute all those are accessed from the canvas home page that's the end of our of our kind of intro uh, class management then you get to coursework in class three so the first week you have an overview of the first half of American history uh, overview of the pre-Civil War class that preceded this class. It's a brief look at the first half of American history, bringing you up to speed of the events that happened from the very beginning through the Civil War. Otherwise, we're dropping in the middle of the story. So please watch this to catch you up with what's going on before you begin the chapter videos. Even if you, if, even if you had uh, the first half last semester and it's fresh to you, Please watch this anyway to get a feeling and idea of, of what's important to me as your instructor and the, the kind of formation of, of the theme of the class. Okay, so watch that. Then we get to our chapter video, our, our chapter uh, tutorials, video tutorials, video lectures. Uh, so chapter 15, of course, we're starting in the middle of the book here. So chapter 15, I should say in the second book, uh, the class before us starts chapter 1 through 4 through 15. So. Uh, chapter 15 each time each week you'll have your main video lecture right here and then below that it'll say films for class 3 class 4 whatever it is in this case you have two films now, I mentioned before in a how I run, run my class uh, video that sometimes we have a lot of films it could be five six or seven they're not very long they're just they're there to enhance and make a point so how do you know when to watch these films well you simply listen to the video lecture and I will prompt you in the lecture when to go watch that film so you simply pause the video come out to the link open it watch the film when you're finished come back where you pause keep going uh, and then down the road in that lecture it'll tell you when to watch the next one so you pause come out and watch that film okay uh, that's so that's class 3 class 4 is the continuation of chapter 15 uh, lecture video films for class 4 you've got um, a few here uh, when prompted listen to the film and I'll tell you the title we're gonna so please take a break here and go listen to the Ladanian Tomlinson film um, and so on uh, in some cases in this case here you'll have films that were not mentioned in the video lecture but I want you to watch it for more clarity so if it's if I'm, if I'm telling if I'm saying please watch it then then watch it for the class on occasion <clears throat> there'll be there'll be a video that's optional and it might be that I've added it just as more information um, or perhaps I perhaps I, I mention it perhaps I prompt you in the video to watch it but because of time uh, I don't want to go over our time so I make it optional if it's optional you're not required to watch it but if you'd like to watch it for, for further information you're interested please feel free to do that so in this case, you've got a couple here that were not mentioned in the video lecture, but I expect you to watch it, okay? Okay, so that's a typical module from, from top to bottom, what week we're in, welcome video, uh, class one, class two, class three, class four, and from, from week one on, of course, it's going to be all coursework. But don't forget, week one, modules week one, scroll down to assignment instruction. These are always here for you to look at if you need clarification on an assignment. I will also post this as uh, as its own module, so you can you can find it in a couple of places. Okay. All right. Let's get back to our home page, 
And what was next here? Uh, I think it's course summary. Okay, so course summary is found at the bottom of the syllabus link. Not, not this link here, this link here in the menu. So click on syllabus, and here's the syllabus. We're going to go over that in a minute, so let's just, let's just segue past it right now. Scroll down to the bottom, and here you see at the bottom you'll find the course summary. What is the course summary? It's a chronological list of all the assignments, I should say important dates of the class. First day of class, instructions for film reflection one post today, discussion board post today, drop deadlines, and so on. Last day of class, uh, midterm and final exams are posting. Uh, midterm exam opens today. Midterm part one, part two due, whatever day that might be. So this is a list, chronological lists, all the way to the last day of the class that's telling you what's what's going on, okay? So course summary is a very a, a, a good tool for you. But if you prefer a calendar list, let's click on calendar, the, the far left menu. And uh, let's go to June here, and here is the here is the uh, the calendar for our class. Now, uh, I don't have all your classes listed, but if you've got two summer classes or three, and that's that's a load, but you can do it. You can you can click all your classes, and they'll come in color coordinated. So one will be green, one will be blue, one will be red, whatever it might be. Or you can simply just click on one class. So for the purpose of our tutorial here, we're looking at just our class. So again, the same uh, important dates of the course summary are shown here, but just in calendar forms. This is a nice way for you to look at what's going on. Instructions post here for discussion board one. Uh, you know, uh, drop deadlines, whatever, whatever it might be. Okay. Okay, that's the uh, uh, calendar. All right. Let's go back to our um, course here, home page, and look at what was next, which is the to-do list. Very, very important tool and probably the one you'll use the most. So as you see here, all your assignments are lining up. Okay, so don't get too concerned about what you're looking at right now. This will change by the time the class starts because I'm still creating the course, but uh, this will tell you what's happening from day one and it'll keep coming throughout the entire course itself okay okay so that's the home page uh, syllabus I'm gonna do after we get through our home page I'm gonna skip over that just for right now but we'll end with that announcements I've already posted one I mentioned before very important that you keep your eye on this check it daily it's it's uh, one of the ways I can communicate with you I can reach out and reach reach everybody. Uh, you know, reminder, important. Please read this. This is instructions. That something's changed. We've had a, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, it's a way for me to tell you what's going on in the class. Uh, I mentioned before also welcome videos and the modules. Those two places are are very important. We've already looked at modules, so assignments. So this is this is an important uh, link also. So from the student view, you see that they come chronologically as they're due. So chapter 15 uh, is due June 12th. Film Reflection 1 is due June 13th. Again, Sunday, Monday. 16, 17, 18, you, know, you have three chapters due in one week. Discussion Board 1 posts on June 10th, due on June 21st. Very important. I'll talk about it more when I get there, but Discussion Boards have two due dates. The only problem is Canvas won't allow us to post two due dates, so you have to be aware that there's a due date before the final due date, and I'll I'll get into that when we get there. California State Requirement Quiz, I'll talk about that at length also. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to leave leave the student view to show you my view in assignments to just show you how they're kind of segregated, okay, and, and what what you're up against. So in my view, you see the chapter quizzes all together. And there's there's one for chapter 15 through chapter 31, and again could be two or three a week, so you're expected to do all all two or three. Uh, film reflections, there's four of these, uh, two before the midterm, two before the final. Discussion board, there's four of those, two before the midterm, two before the final. So essentially every week you've got a relevant assignment, whether it's a film reflection or discussion board. 
because of our compacted schedule, uh, the, the dates kind of overlap. But what I mean by that is before Film Reflection 1 is due, Discussion Board 1 will post. Film Reflection number 1 is due on a Monday, but Discussion Board number 1 will post the previous Friday. It's the only way to get it all in an eight-week course, okay? California State Requirement, it's a, it's a requirement of the, of the state that uh, as an instructor, I teach you at least one class on California government and its constitution. So that's what this is. You listen to a lecture, listen, watch some films, same as anything else, just different subject, and then take a five-question uh, quiz not designed to be very difficult, to be perfectly honest. Of course, midterm and final exams uh, you know, are, are open uh, typically for four days in the fast track class. Uh, so you can, you know, find the best time for you. Uh, so midterm and final both have part one's multiple choice, part two is essays. Okay. That's the, so that's the, uh, assignments. Let's go back to your view. Uh, discussions. Of course, the discussion boards are posted here, but you can also use this as a community for yourselves to communicate with each other. Uh, reach. I mean, I realize that people have lots of different ways to communicate, but if you'd like to post something that you might think of is, is of interest to somebody in the class, uh, whatever it might be, uh, you can use this as a forum to, to reach out. We, we don't have a classroom to interact. This is one way to do that. Uh, grades, um, I'm not going to open it because everybody will show up. So for privacy, I'm not going to do that. But but uh, grades, of course, is the grades for all your assignments, and that's pretty obvious when you open it. All the assignments will, will show on what your grade is. If you have any disputes or questions about your grades, let me know right away. Uh, people, everybody in the class, you can reach out to anybody in the class. Chat, of course, is, is also um, available to you to interact with, with students. Uh, Unicheck, I, I just want you to be aware of what this is. Unicheck is a... Is a um, uh, software that kind of uh, checks for similarities in papers. So what that means is if you submit a paper to me, whether it's a film reflection or discussion board, and you copied it from somebody else, you went on the internet and copied it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to find that similarity online and flag it. So be, be aware that you can't really cut and paste and, and drop it in as your own work and get away with that anymore. Tutoring, if you have any questions about the tutoring center, uh, click here course information about the about the library okay okay back to our home page okay so we've gone over everything but the syllabus okay so just in review don't forget the four places modules course summary calendar to-do list of course the assignment page so you know what's going on modules is the brain center of the of the course okay uh, so we've clicked on the syllabus once, so don't forget the course summaries at, at the bottom of the syllabus page. Remember the course summary. Don't forget that. It's very important. Uh, this, is, this is the link to the syllabus. This, this is a downloaded version, but it's a little bit easier from my point of view to, to uh, navigate it if you open this link. This link will open the Word document, and, and now it's got pages, and it's just kind of easier to follow. And I mentioned before uh, in, the, in my... Uh, 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 opening announcement that you want need to go to page four uh, of the syllabus to get to the textbook. That's that's right here. Okay, uh, all this is important. Let, but let's go to the top and start from top to bottom. So so again, some of this we, we've already we've already seen. Uh, one second here. Uh, History 110 online June 6. My my email um, uh, office hours very important. I will do office hours via Zoom every week, every Wednesday between noon and 2 p.m. I will post the link every uh, each week in announcements. Simply drop in uh, and you know talk to me. Uh, office hours are are underutilized, so take advantage of this. Don't be afraid. I'm not a hard person to get along with. I'm respectful and I'm trying to help you. And I want you to be successful. So don't don't be afraid to talk to me. Uh, Set some time aside and, and come together and, and, and meet with me. I, mean, I'm, I encourage you to, to do that. If you're struggling, you have a question, whatever it might be, reach out. I can, I can talk to you noon to 2 p.m. every Wednesday for eight weeks. Or if you can't make that time, let me know. We'll, we'll set up a private time at any time that you'd like. And yes, I have done 11 o'clock at night before. 
and six o'clock in the morning. So I, I'm trying to do the best I can to help you here. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, Netiquette policy, please be respectful. Please read all this. Class description, again, this, this, this is the second half of, of American history from the Civil War to the World Wars to all the way to globalization. Uh, so please read this top to bottom. Oops. Uh, one part I will read, the last two paragraphs. This course will pay special attention to the interaction between the different races that were that participated in the story and the conflicts. The story is not one-sided and special attention will be given to include the histories of African Americans, Native Americans, Mexican Americans, Asian Americans, LGBTQ, and women. Uh, my background is in the study of racism and discrimination, as well as the history of civil rights and social justice. My lectures and presentations will be given from that point of view. Okay. Moving on, student learning outcomes is very important. Uh, this is what the campus is expecting that, that I'm going to teach to you. Okay, so please read these and understand these. This is what you're learning in this class. Uh, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Oops. Okay, the textbook. Uh, and I have a picture of it here for you. Uh, the best way to find this textbook is to go online. Uh, copy this number right here. Like that. Copy that. Put it into your search bar. And all kinds of uh, you know, options will come up to you. Uh, the books available in the bookstore are CRN numbers 91114. Uh, but be, be aware of the book that you're getting. It's very easy to buy the wrong book. Do not purchase a book that says sources or value editions. If you look at the image of the book, it doesn't say sources or value on there, but on a on the wrong look, it'll say sources right here or value up here. You don't want either one of those. You want the main textbook, okay? So lots of places to buy the textbook. It's available in the bookstore, but it's very expensive, okay? So I'm I'm encouraging you to, to save some money. Look for other sources to find it. You can rent it. You can rent it from Amazon, uh, Chegg.com. Uh, there's other places that, you know, our textbook rental places. Just, just search textbook rental. There's... there's there's a lot of them. But you can also buy it on eBay or half.com. Uh, many times they're on there very, very cheap. You can also uh, go locally on Craigslist. Students that just finished this course have books to sell, and they, they might sell them for next to nothing. So, uh, of course, there's a variety of online sources, Facebook and so on. Whatever, whatever's out there, search all of them uh, so you have the, the best option to save yourself some money. Uh, this is the only textbook required for the entire course. Attendance in an online course, of course, there's no real requirement, but a lack of engagement or a failure to turn in assignments could result in you being dropped. Understand there are other students on the, on the waiting list, especially in the first week, that, that want to add this class, so secure your seat. Uh, students who do not log into Canvas in the first day of the class will be dropped from the class. Uh, if you remain enrolled in the class beyond the withdrawal deadline, you'll receive a, a letter grade. It could be an F. It uh, could be a, what's called an FW, failure to, failure to withdraw. So understand it's your responsibility to drop, withdraw from all classes in which you are no longer attending. I will not drop you past the first week or so. There's two deadlines to drop. If you drop by June 14th, that's only eight days in, but it gives you a whole week. Uh, you can if you drop by that date, it won't be entered on your on your transcripts at all. You won't even see it. But you have till July 8th, which is you know over a month in, more than halfway in. You can, if you drop by that date, you'll see you'll receive a W in your transcripts. A W means withdrawal. That's better than an F or a D or in some cases a C. Many many prestigious uh, 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 universes that you might transfer to aren't going to accept C, so you don't want to be doing that too much. Uh, a W is, is, doesn't count towards your GPA, your grade point average. However, if you got a whole bunch of Ws, of course, that looks like you can't finish what you start. So you don't want to have too many, but always better than an F. <clears throat> so again, students who remain enrolled beyond the withdrawal deadlines will receive a letter grade. And it's your responsibility to drop all classes you're no longer attending. Uh, be prepared. Uh, please read all of that. Technology requirements, make sure that you're on top of that. And there's a link there uh, for the requirements for online learning. Assignments, and we've talked about this briefly, but again, 
Uh, I'm not going to go over it in detail because, again, modules week one is part of your assignment to listen to all those video tutorials and read the written instructions for each one of these. That's where you find the, the bulk of information. I'm just simply showing you here what the assignments are. So each week there will be a 10 question quiz on the chapter or very key chapters in a, in a fast track class. We'll, we'll have two or three it's on some on some weeks. Uh, these quizzes are all open book, open notes, no time limit, okay? Uh, refer to assignment instructions found in module week one. Film reflections for throughout the semester to gain your sense of interpretation of the media and the representations of American history. Uh, again, modules week one for assignment instructions. Discussion boards, jumpy page here, boy. Discussion boards uh, also for uh, based on your interpretation of primary documents and go to assignment instructions for for uh, details supplemental lectures uh, so these are this is the one that's a little different than perhaps the one that people don't spend enough time in the instruction that shows on the midterm and final these are these are not assignments per se but you will be writing your essays for your midterm and final from these supplemental lectures we'll, 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 we'll do 16 of these eight before the midterm eight before the final these lectures are separate from the main lecture. They're given randomly, not on the schedule. Uh, we'll be taking, we'll, we'll be listening to a video lecture, and I'll say, okay, we're going to stop here and do supplemental lecture number one, and that means it's separate. So, so keep separate notes and so on. Please listen to the instructions in the video tutorial uh, to understand, um, you know, what what this is about. But key here, the essay portion of your midterm and final will be chosen by you from these lectures. Uh, your essays are essentially, you're going to write a review of the lecture, okay? California state requirement I mentioned earlier required by the state regarding the government and constitution. Uh, midterm and final exam, two exams, uh, midterm and final at the end. Each, each one has two parts. Part one is 40 multiple choice questions, 40 minutes. Part two is three essay questions, 85 minutes. Uh, the 40 questions come from your textbook and class notes. The three essay questions come from the supplemental lectures as described above. And you'll be providing instruction. The final exam is not comprehensive of the entire course. The final exam will only cover the second half of the course only. 670 total points for this class. Uh, 10, uh, 17 chapter quizzes at 10 points each. Four film reflections, four discussion boards at 25 points each. California State Requirement, 25 points each. Midterm and final exam, midterm worth 120, final exam worth 155. And I'll explain why the final exam is more here in a minute. I, I use a typical uh, percentage of points for your grade, and there it is right there. Okay. Uh, points and grades, please. Uh, they're in Canvas in the grade section. It's your responsibility to check that regularly. Any disputes must be brought to my attention immediately. So don't, don't tell me in week eight that your chapter one quiz was graded incorrectly. If it's graded incorrectly, check it out. Let me know, okay? Uh, extra credit, late work. Uh, I do not offer extra credit, okay? I, I grade the final exam using the same point system as the midterm exam, but there are 35 extra points on the final exam, as I just mentioned. Uh, th that's 35 points. That's probably more, more points than most professors offer for extra credit. So if you if you complete the course and finish the final exam, these are a bonus for anyone who completes the class. Uh, late assignments of any type will not be accepted, no exceptions. I'm not trying to be a, you know, tough here, no extra credit, no late assignments, but it's a, it's a nightmare to, to, to manage it all. And I've learned that, you know, a, a better way to do this is just extend the time. Okay, so these, these assignments are are available for for a while. Chapter quizzes available for 10 days before they're due. Film reflections and discussion boards are available 11 days before they are due. That includes two weekends. Okay, so you have more than enough time to do this. My my suggestion would be do it early and get it out of your way. In a fast track class, you want to get this get this stuff done early and then take the weekend off. Okay. Uh, the only exceptions to this to these due dates are the first and last week. So the first week we start on June 6th, and your your first assignment is due June 13th. I can't post you know anything before the due date. So typically I'd give I would post the instruction on the, on the Friday. So your first week is quick, and your last week ends quick. So those two weeks, first week, last week, will have 
uh, due dates that are less than 10 or 11 days, but it's not going to be like one or two. It'll be, I believe it's six, six and seven. Uh, so again, no excuse not to finish an assignment in that given time. Uh, again, start early, finish early to avoid any last minute issues in the due dates. It's your responsibility to regularly check announcements, learning modules, assignments for assignment related information and due dates. Please contact me immediately if you're unable to locate a scheduled exam or assignment. Student responsibility, student code of conduct. So please read this. Of course, we're in an online class, but we still can have bullying and bashing online, uh, any kind of you know disruptive behavior. Uh, so that's still it's still relevant in an online class. So be aware of that. And again, we've got that link at the bottom there, so you can find out what the student code of conduct conduct is. If there is a conflict, if you have a conflict, if you feel like there's a problem with your grades. Or the class or me whatever it might be please follow the steps and for those that have been in the military it's the chain of command if if the if the toilet won't won't stop running you don't go to the company commander you, you go to your first sergeant or you, you go to your staff sergeant whoever that might be same thing here if you have a problem with the course talk to me first and we'll attempt to remedy the issue I can tell you in in eight years of teaching I've never had anybody go to step two. We've always managed to resolve any issues. And of course, they happen on occasion. But if I don't satisfy you, then I will give you instructions to, to, to talk to the department chair and talk to him. He's a very, uh, you know, good guy and will help you out um, and, you know, perhaps mediate whatever the issue might be. If he doesn't help you, he will give you contact information from the dean of the department. And that's the top. OK, so somewhere between those three, we'll, we'll work it out. Student success, please read this, be proactive, plan for the unexpected, communicate with me. Uh, stay on top of your course summary, calendar, to-do list. Uh, honesty, plagiarism, be, be aware of what this is and that, that the, the penalty for cheating is, is, is you know, pretty, pretty stiff. So you don't want to be doing that. Cheating, copying people's papers, you know, someone from another class, a friend of yours has has the same assignment and they wrote it you copy that's very easy to, to to catch that don't don't do that uh, you hear a lot about plagiarisms when I don't, I'm not sure if everyone knows what that means I mean essentially plagiarism is using somebody else's work and calling it your own that of course is, is a no-no in the academic world academics write scholarly books and documents and essays and and so on uh, and any kind of historical work is based on the work of previous historians. So anytime that you use their work and you quote it, you have to cite them. If I'm writing a book about Abraham Lincoln and I use Professor Smith's uh, 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 thesis in, in my book, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a footnote. And at the bottom of the page, I'm citing him saying, I got this information from Professor Smith's book about Lincoln. That's if I don't do that, if I claim that that information is mine, that's plagiarism. So how does that relate to a student? It's the same thing, really. If you're if you're writing a paper and you just copy and paste from a website and then drop it in and call it your own, that's plagiarism. OK, uh, so understand that that's that's a, a stiff penalty and you don't want to be, you know, that person. You could uh, you'll be reported to the the office of the dean of students. And have to go and talk to them and it's it's uh it's a big deal so nothing in this course is exceptionally difficult it's time consuming it takes some effort but i think a lot of it is going to hopefully enlighten you a little bit so just take the time and and do it the right way and don't look to cut corners uh getting a zero for an assignment getting a, an f in the class uh or being expelled from the school are all possible you know punishments for uh, unethical behavior so don't, so don't be one of those people uh, accommodations uh, students with disabilities if you if you require accommodations it must be approved by the DSPS office I can't approve that I don't have the credentials to do that so don't come to me and say I've got this issue please go to DSPS they will give you an accommodations letter you will send that to me and uh, I will give you what the, whatever your accommodations are, whether it's a note taker or extended time or whatever it is. This is their website, their, their link, and the, the uh, room number on campus, okay? Okay, so to wrap this up, the last one is a commentary, a little stump speech here. 
the question is inevitably asked of me, how much of your lecture presentation is actually on an exam? So you'd be surprised how many times in my, my first day of class when I just start, people, someone raises their hand and asks me that. And it's, it's difficult to answer. There's eight weeks in our course. If we take out the days used for the midterm and final, that's approximately seven weeks of instruction times six is 42 hours. The midterm and final exam will amount to three, four hours of our time. So how do I fit 42 hours into three hours? I mean, pretty clearly I can't. So it becomes obvious that everything, getting everything I say to you into an exam is impossible. But the questions asked, well, what you are about to talk about beyond exams? So in other words, should I be paying attention right now? You should be paying attention the entire time. Write copious notes, get it all down. It's a difficult question to answer for me because I don't know if what I'm going to say is going to be on an exam or not. It's obvious that much of what I say will not be on an exam. So from my perspective, the best approach for students is take it all in, learn all you can, and don't look for a, you know, a shortcut. If you approach it that way, you will not have to worry about the exams. You will know all there is to know. This course, excuse me, there goes my voice. <clears throat> this course is designed by me to teach you the story of the United States of America. The best approach for you is to take, uh, it, to take is to learn it well, as it will help you discover that many of the issues and conflicts we have today have their beginnings in the past. History is an extremely relevant subject regarding the present. The best approach to your education is not to figure out an easy way to look for shortcuts, but to embrace it and let it do it. Let it do its magic. So perhaps I'm saying a little parental here. I don't mean to be. I can just tell you from my own experience. I, I was an older student when I finally got, got through and got my degree and my master's degree. Uh, I did that in my 50s. When I was in my 20s, I also went to school and screwed around and, and, and didn't get anything from it. So of course I gained from that experience. I've learned, I've learned the difference. Okay. And when I say let it, let it do its magic, if you embrace it all, and I'm talking about whatever it might be, math, English, whatever it is, uh, language, it, it's, it all in a nutshell will enlighten you, enhance your, your, your worldly view. Okay. That's what it's about. Education will do that. The combination of all your classes together will enlighten you and hopefully remove any blinders you may be wearing. I, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but many young people uh, in some cases get a, a narrow vision. Like there's a big world out there. You need to learn about it. Uh, you, you remove your blinders and open your periphery uh, regarding life. If you allow this to happen and work as hard as you can, I can assure you that the benefits gained will be invaluable, priceless for the rest of your life. And again, I'm living proof of that being on both sides of it. So essentially, high school's adult training. And, and we know you don't need a college education to go out in the world and get a job. You, you can become a multi-millionaire you know, millionaire and not have a college education. And, but don't look at college as just a way to get a job. Look at it as a way to be, become educated, and that will get you a job. That will open lots of doors that you may not even know exist right now. High school teaches us the very basics of life so we can maneuver through society without any obstacles. We learn about you know, the American government and where the DMV is and, and, and basic kind of you know, stuff so we can maneuver through American culture. Uh, but college is a higher level. It allows you to pursue careers that require higher knowledge. You're going to be supervisors and leaders and, and managers and this type of thing. That's what college education gets you. Gets you mo money too, right? You're going to get paid higher, hopefully. Uh, so what does that result in? Living a life that's full, challenging, and rewarding. So it's worth the time to put it in. Most of you are young people, but I did it in my 50s. So all that life that I had, I, I own three businesses in that in that period of time. I did very well, but I but I always wanted to do this, so I kept pushing and pushing. I finally found the time to do it. Uh, so, full challenge and rewarding, but most importantly, it will result in a life that is satisfying, and satisfaction is the key ingredient to happiness. And to wrap up this video uh, tutorial, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Okay, thank you.